Everybody, it's Brent in Central Arkansas again. A few days ago, I got an email from GrowOrganic.com. That company is uh, Peaceful Valley. It's where I order my strawberry plants from this year, and I ordered um, Everbearers instead of uh, June Bearers, like I did last year. And I'm hoping what I could do is uh, get a uh, an extended season of strawberries. So. I wasn't quite prepared for the shipment, so what I've been doing for the past few days is preparing my strawberry grow towers, and I'm going to take you along and show you what I'm doing. Well, guess where I am? Here to pick up some stuff. And I got her loaded. This is the fawn platform for the strawberry towers complete. And uh, there's two that I haven't put the gutters and the foam in, but I'm going to do that later. But for the purpose of this video, uh, I'm not going to do that and plumb it in. So right now it's just plumbed in for the strawberries. Breaking down the platform real quick for you. It's all made out of 2x4s. There's two 36 3 foot wide pieces here and here with a 10 inch piece here and this piece that's 10 inches sets the height of the overall fawn platform. Next I add these 6 inch lag bolts and these are height adjustments to make sure the platform is level when the ground's uneven. In order to make one of these fawn platforms you need two 2x4s that are well, these are untreated, but 117 inches long. And the reason why they're not a full 10 feet is because the gutter cap on the ends. I'll show you that here. See that? To get four and a half inch width here, which is the width of the gutter, you cut seven and a half inch two by four pieces. And when you do that and you fix them to the edge here, it creates that four and a half inch width. See those risers there? They're just tall enough to hold up the platform here, but on the strawberry tower we have to lift it all the way up to accommodate for the tubes and their height. So this is a riser and I measured it from the bottom there. It's going to rise all the way up and the other one's going to go across way up here and that is 74 inches. Fifteen inches up on the riser is the bottom of the center platform. Using the other fawn platform as a template, you can see here that you come in from each end to 34 inches, and that's where you place the main support structure on each side, 34 inches in. After you put it on this side, screw it in, put it on this side, screw it in, and you take the center piece here, the center fawn, that creates the main frame. It's pretty stable at that point. Next we're going to put cinder blocks out of them to raise them like the rest of the platforms to provide a stability in case the ground it sinks a little bit or what have you. On top of the cinder block is a piece of wood with a little bit of divot drilled with the drill and that's so the end of the lag bolt could sit in it and it'll prevent some of the sliding and distribute the weight a little bit more. You want it kind of centered in the main structure of this because there's going to be a lot of weight on it. Next we need to level it and you can see it's not level here nor is it leveled that direction. So we're going to do that with screwing in the lag bolts. After you do things by yourself a lot you learn little tricks so angle the board up there and it's going to be holding that and I just take it with my other hand here and lift it up and then I'll screw those into place. Can't do it with the camera but that's what I'm going to do. I'll show you that when I'm done. 
You said I put one in there and I tighten one screw. And I'm going to go over here and lift this up and put the other end in once I make sure it's level. Put some bracing in just to keep the risers nice and straight and solid. <laughs> 